Welcome. Today we're making stock. We'll be covering the difference between broth and stock, how to source ingredients, why quality matters, how to make it, its health benefits, and ways to use it in your cooking. Sometimes called bone broth, stock is simply bones from chicken, beef, pork, or fish, simmered with select vegetables and water for a long time to release minerals and gelatin. It tastes better and is more nutrient dense. Using it can also help cut the time it takes to prepare nutritious meals. Stock is made primarily with bones while broth is made more out of meat and bones that is usually browned first to increase flavour. First we need to collect our ingredients. So buy or make a delicious roast chicken. When you're finished, strip the meat from the carcass and freeze the bones in a container. You can also buy chicken frames ready to go. We eat a roast chicken about once a week, primarily so I can collect the leftover bones to make stock. You'll need beef bones too. Get them from your butcher or farmer's market, as well as pig's feet. You may need to request to have them set aside for you. I use pig's feet over chicken feet as they yield more gelatin. I use a mix of bones because I want the variety and nutrients from each, but also a well-rounded, subtle flavour. Stock simmers for a long time, up to 24 hours, which means everything that goes in will be released. So aim for the best quality ingredients you can afford. Start with a large heavy bottom pot. It needs to have a heavy bottom so the temperature stays consistent. Fill your pot to at least half with bones. I use beef bones, pig's feet and saved chicken carcasses. You don't have to make a huge batch like this, I just do it this way because it means I have to do it less often. Organic apple cider vinegar is an essential ingredient. It draws minerals from the bones. Now we're going to add our mirepoix, which is just a French term for the essential three ingredients of carrot, celery and onion. Onions chopped in half with the peel on. Garlic with the root chopped off and given a light smash if you like. Bay leaves. Whole peppercorns. Any fresh herbs like thyme, oregano, rosemary, tied with some food safe kitchen twine. Kombu seaweed is an optional ingredient. I like to add it as it is rich in iodine. There's no need to add salt to stock as it's a base ingredient that is mostly added to other dishes. Once you've put everything in the pot, fill it with clean, cold, purified water until everything is covered. Cold water allows the impurities to rise to the top to be skimmed off. Bring the stock to a simmer only. Skim off the scum or foam that rises to the top. These are impurities that can lend an off flavour, so it's important they're removed. Keep your stock at the lowest simmer you can maintain for the 12 to 24 hours it's going to be on the stovetop. Because the big bones like beef take a while to release their minerals. The longer you cook your stock, the more flavorful and rich it will be. It's up to you how long you let it go for. All right, now that that's simmering, let's touch on some health benefits. Stock provides an abundance of minerals that are easily assimilated like calcium, magnesium, and potassium. It reduces the symptoms for colds by hydrating the body and loosens mucus so it can run. Gelatin, the jelly-like substance that forms once the stock has been refrigerated, helps restore our gut lining and makes most cooked foods easier to digest. It produces collagen, which promotes elasticity, improving skin, hair and nail health. About 10 minutes before finishing the stock, add your parsley. Once your stock has cooled, Use a sieve and pour it off into containers of your choosing. I like to use these little containers as they are about a cup measure, but you can freeze it in bigger batches too. It will last in the fridge fresh for three to four days or frozen up to six months. It can be enjoyed on its own as a health drink or as an afternoon pick-me-up instead of a coffee. Use it as a base for all your soups and stews. You can also use it to make gravies, sauces or simmer some greens in it. My favourite way to cook it is in rice. 
Thanks for watching Rising Traditions. Please let me know how your stock turns out in the comments below. See you next week.